The Castle on the Cliff, a short story by Shelley Mars. Once upon a time, in a quaint little town, lived a talented artist named Mira. She had a deep love for nature, and her paintings seemed to capture the essence of life. One day, an elegantly decorated envelope was delivered to her, addressed in her sister Adeline's graceful handwriting. Sitting in a chair on the porch, Mira carefully opened it and read, Dear Mira, I hope this letter finds you in the best of spirits. It has been far too long since we last saw each other, and I miss you so. Castle Edgecliff feels incomplete without the joy and creativity you bring into my life. As I stand on the terrace, admiring the breathtaking sunsets, the crashing waves below serve as a constant reminder of our adventurous childhood days, exploring the shores and dreaming of grand expeditions. Oh, how I miss those times. I am reminded of your artistic talents, too. Your paintings have always managed to capture the essence of the world in ways that leave me in awe. Therefore, I extend to you the warmest invitation to visit me here. The wild beauty that surrounds this place will undoubtedly stir your soul and inspire your artistry in ways you cannot imagine. Gypsy, your loyal friend, is also most welcome. I love the stories you've shared about your adventures together, and I cannot wait to meet her in person. With love and great anticipation, I await your arrival, Mira. May the call of the ocean and the lure of your sister's embrace lead you to my door post-haste. I long to share this chapter of our lives where sisterly bonds are forever strengthened. With all my love, Adeline. Mira's heart was full of excitement as she prepared for the trip to visit her sister, and the castle perched high upon a cliff overlooking the often turbulent ocean. The following day, as Mira stepped outside with her art supplies and other things she would need along the journey, Gypsy, sensing an adventure, was waiting for her. Mira lovingly patted Gypsy's sleek, midnight black and purest white coat and whispered in her ear, "'We're going on a journey, my dear friend,' she said, her voice full of affection. "'We're going to visit Adeline at Castle Edgecliff. Won't that be wonderful?' "'Oh, yes! Let's get started right away!' With a gentle leap, Mira settled onto Gypsy's back, and with hearts filled with anticipation, they set off on their journey. The quaint little town slowly faded behind them, replaced by picturesque landscapes and the rhythmic sound of Gypsy's hooves on the winding road. The Enchanted Meadow They rode along, singing their favorite songs, and their path soon led to an enchanted meadow. It seemed to stretch endlessly before them, a sanctuary for nature's creatures, untouched by the hustle and bustle of the outside world, as though it were a painting brought to life, a kaleidoscope of colors and movement that filled the senses with wonder. The melodies of songbirds seemed to harmonize with Mira and Gypsy's song as they stepped into its magical embrace. The sunflowers stood tall like guardians, their golden faces turned toward the sun, while lavender and honeysuckle added their soothing aromas to the freshened air. Hummingbirds zipped through the air with iridescent feathers flashing in the sunlight. Butterflies flitted gracefully from one blossom to another, while bees were diligently collecting the nectar, their gentle hum inducing a soothing effect. As Mira walked through the meadow, she felt an overwhelming sense of peace and harmony. She could feel the soft earth beneath her feet, a tactile connection to the earth. She breathed in deeply, filling her lungs with air that was filled with the sweet fragrance of nature's immense bouquet. Gypsy trotted gracefully alongside Mira, her hooves leaving gentle imprints in the grass. The horse seemed at home here, as if she too had been touched by the enchantment of the meadow. They grew silent as peace settled upon them, and when Mira found a cozy spot to sit amidst the wildflowers, she took out her painting supplies. With each stroke of her brush, she tried to capture the meadow's essence, the vibrant colors, the play of sunlight and shadow, the intricate details of petals and leaves. Time seemed to loose its hold as Mira immersed herself in her painting. She felt as if she were part of this magical landscape, connected to its spirit and inspired by its beauty. She enjoyed a delightful picnic lunch while Gypsy gazed contentedly nearby, 
Between bites, they discussed what other mysteries each thought their journey might hold. Revived again and on their way once more, their trail took a turn and they reluctantly bid farewell to the enchanted meadow, but Mira knew that its beauty would forever remain etched in her heart and her memory, a source of inspiration for future paintings.